Hurricanes are named by the World Meteorological Organization, and the names get reused unless they are monster storms. Adalia begins with the letter I, and more storms that start with an I have been retired than any other letter of the alphabet because they were deadly or destructive. 14 names have been crossed off that list, about 15%. Hurricane Ian is the most recent. That Category 4 storm killed more than 150 people in Florida last year and caused $155 billion worth of damage, a record in that state. There is an explanation for this odd group. Timing. The intensity of the Atlantic hurricane season builds at the end of August and peaks around the second week of September. To help put this latest hurricane into context, Global News meteorologist Anthony Farnell is with me. Anthony, Adalia intensified with frightening speed as it approached Florida. Why did that happen? Is it going to become more common? Well, it certainly has been more common, Donna, over the course of the last few years at least. These storms intensifying quickly. It was well forecasted by the National Hurricane Center, but still, that doesn't make it any less scary. And you see our satellite imagery here showing that pinpoint eye right before landfall. Thankfully, it was a rather small, compact storm, so the damage was less widespread than some of the other big ones. But look at this. Since 2017, all of these major hurricanes have reached their strongest point within about 100 kilometers of land. So that is a troubling sign that we're seeing in the Gulf of Mexico, partially to blame the very warm water. Now, this is deviations from normal 30 to 32 degrees Celsius water. Typically, you need about 26 degrees Celsius to get a hurricane to form. And it's not just the Gulf of Mexico. We've got warm water because of El Nino in the Pacific. Much of the Atlantic is above seasonal, and that is a troubling sign for the next few weeks as hurricane season really ramps up, Donna. It is troubling. And Anthony, we fear winds from a hurricane, of course, but the storm surge is a real threat too, especially in this case. Especially in this case, yeah, it's uh, really the orientation of the coastline, the fact that it's rather shallow shelf water here in this big bend area of Florida. But also when you have these major hurricanes intensifying right up until landfall, the winds bring a lot of water into places it shouldn't be. That was a dahlia. I do want to quickly mention that this big eye you see here, that's another hurricane. It's Category 2 strength Franklin, originally a Category 4 just a couple of days ago big waves up and down the eastern seaboard, but also it's having an effect bringing some tropical moisture even into Atlantic Canada, where rainfall warnings are in place, anywhere from 50 to 100 millimeters falling in an area that has had already a record wet summer. So there is a flood threat indirectly from Franklin for Atlantic Canada. Newfoundland also seeing rain through tomorrow. Donna? Okay, Global News meteorologist Anthony Farnell, thank you.